trailer hooked up this morning. That means after work today, at least, we're going to buy a motorcycle. So, um, I ended up buying it because it's super clean. It's got uh, what was listed as 4,500 original miles. It has 45,000 original miles, which is more like it for that date range of uh, being a 1985. It actually has pretty low miles on it. Um, I have about a two hour drive home, so I will touch base with you guys when I get home and do a little walk around, let you guys drink it up, see what I bought. Well, regardless of seeing it run, I bought it. I bought it in 1985 on the Goldwing, and I plan on doing some off-road adventures with this thing. So, this thing uh, was the Winnebago of motorcycles back in the day, uh, weighing in at 778 pounds dry, and boasting a whopping 94 horsepower. So, uh, opposing or boxer four cylinder 1200 cc fuel injected engine um, I've got a older battery that's on the tender right now for it so hopefully I'll be able to get this thing going here shortly and you're gonna listen to it hopefully run that we didn't know ran at all. Um, things are running pretty good though. Definitely needs a battery. We ended up cobble jobbing some of this all together. I hope you guys saw. But super excited to ride this thing. I've never ridden a Goldwing before. Um, Freaking cool. Front sank down.
brakes. Definitely a lot of weight to stop. Doesn't have a ton of front brakes. Let's see if I can turn this thing around in the road. Nobody behind me. Oh yeah, I got plenty of turn radius. everyone so after some consideration uh, friends and family we're introducing Woody the wing Woody the wood colored gold wing so this is actually the very first purchase for the JB Outdoors channel used with uh, at least some of the funds that I make through monetization so this will be uh, something that you'll see in the channel and then get to see me do some really weird stuff with this thing so I plan on doing some moto camping with it as well as some off-road riding so that ought to be fun with an 800 pound gold wing but buying a bike non-running is never ideal but all this thing needed was a battery At this point, I don't know how lucky I can get, uh, especially buying something from 1985, uh, just needing a battery, as well as being able to find one of the uh, one of the only 5,000 made with electronic fuel injection of this year. So um, apparently, they made just a few of these that were EFI. I don't know why they stopped making them. Hopefully, I don't find that out the hard way. But uh, yeah, just a battery. I'm gonna do an oil oil change on this uh, right away. I've already got the oil for it, and I've already got a set of tires coming for it that are a little more aggressive than what's on it now. And what's on it now is just more or less uh, what's recommended for weight and uh, road riding. So super excited. Obviously, got other bikes to choose from, but um, this one, being the big brown turd that it is actually boasts a pretty decent amount of horsepower I think around 93 horsepower for the year so I mean it's a my first 1200 cc gold wing for sure so again I'm Justin with JB Outdoors make sure to spend more time outdoors I'll see you all in the next video make sure to like and subscribe